The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman wraps up the month of September with a final road match against Newberry here with head coach Simon Duffy. I'm Andrew Rogers for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, uh, during this three-game road stretch to end this month of September, uh, you've put up two clean sheets after not doing that uh, in the first six matches. You've done that in back-to-back matches. Yeah. What have you liked about your defense and the keeping that you've got in these last two matches to uh, hold teams off the scoreboard? Yeah, that's the only one of the only positives to take from last night was, was a clean sheet. Um, and a, and a good way not to concede from corners is not to concede any corners. So um, that was definitely a positive. But no, we've I think just as a team overall, we knew where we had to improve upon. And again, it's not just individual defending. It's just, I think, a mindset defending from set pieces and so on. And that's where we were getting hurt. So delighted we, we were able to do that again last night, two clean sheets in a row, but just sadly weren't able to put the ball in the back of the net. And, you know, at times like that, you start wondering, tactics and formation and everything else but looking back on it there we had we had ample ample chances in front of goal so I think it's just um, you know continue believing in what we're doing and and, and hopefully ball can uh, you know bulge the back of the, the net here soon. You mentioned uh, the offense having some good opportunities last time out you only scored once against Coker too yeah. so one goal in the last two matches uh, it's, it's, so it seems like when your defense is starting to figure things out, yeah. your offense has slowed up a little bit yeah. after such a good start to the year. How do you? What's the right recipe? What's the right mix to get both clicking here as you enter the month of October? Soon, I don't know. <laughs> to be to be quite honest with you, I think we have the personnel. It's just um, having having them believe and trust in one another, and you know they do it every day in training. And you know if we weren't creating the chances or we weren't um, showing that we have the the you know the possibility to do it and the players to do it we have we have it in abundance so it's just trusting in the players that they're going to come through and step up for the team and and, and put the ball in the back of the net because again it's not just forwards right we have we have goals that can come from from everywhere um and i think first half their keeper makes a wonderful save last night just watching it back wonderful save but there was two more opportunities where you know in training, we've we've done it again and again in training. That that type of pattern, that type of movement, and it, and we've put the ball in the back of the net. And unfortunately, last night it's not there. So we're, we're able, we're capable. We just need to believe in it and keep on keep on trucking, keep staying the course, and and hopefully we can we can get a few against Newbury on Saturday and, and, and continue to keep clean sheets on, uh, on the other end. Before I ask you about Newbury, uh, there's been one player that stands out statistically. Felicia Frick had a really good freshman year. Didn't do a whole lot in terms of goals and assists, but this year she has really uh, helped you guys offensively, moving yeah. more of into that midfield role. Four assists, two goals. What has she done so well, especially maybe on those set pieces as well, that's allowed you guys to be good offensively, and what will she have to continue to do to help pace this offense? I think when you spoke to um, Alba there a week or so ago, She'd said, you know, Philly just put it on my head. And that's what she does. She, her deliveries are fantastic. Um, but we need her on the ball as much as we can. She gives us so much. A uh, very intelligent player and has a serious, serious engine. Can just go for, for 90 minutes. So, again, just need to get her more involved um, and get players in and around her more involved as well. Because, like I said, we've got, we've got players that have so many different um, characteristics, but all of which can put the ball in the back of the net so we just need to have that mindset that we're going to score a goal like we 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 kind of stress obviously the importance of scoring that first goal and now it's it's uh, it's I don't know if it's just weighing on the players a bit but again we'll 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 find a way we'll make a way and hopefully come away with the win on Saturday all right, when you talk Newberry, uh, you get them at the right time, essentially. They've lost two in a row. Uh, they only have one win in league play, but uh, all three of their wins this year at home, so they're tough to beat there. Correct. What do you have to do, and what do you, what stands out about that team, and what do you have to do to walk away with a win? Yeah, Newberry are always going to be dogged, and, and traveling down there is very, very tough. Grass field, um, you know, it, it is what it is. It's not it's not the best, but we, we need to go down there and put in a performance. And, and we've done that the last few games. It's just not getting the end result in that final third. So again, it's not like we're not creating chances. It's not like we don't have the movement up top and that, and that transitional periods. We, we have it, crosses, um, combination play in and around the 18. So it's there, but we just need to have that final product. So uh, Newbury are gonna be a very tough, dogged team. I've watched them play some of their games. And um, like you said, they're very, very good at home. And uh, we need to make sure that 
we finish off this month on a, on a bit of a high because it's been a bit of, you know, not, not our best stuff. But again, ha um, halfway through our season right now. Um, so I'm hoping that we can start this second half of the season with a win and push on from there. Thanks, Coach. Good luck Saturday. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's head coach Simon Duffy. I'm Andrew Rogers for the Eagles Sports Network.